The Voyage of the Discovery by Robert Falcon Scott offers a detailed account of Scott's Antarctic expedition of 1901-1904, focusing on the triumphs and struggles of exploration in one of the world's harshest environments. The narrative is both a personal reflection on leadership and a chronicle of scientific achievement, blending vivid descriptions of the icy landscape with the hardships faced by Scott and his crew. The work is not only a recounting of the journey but also an exploration of human endurance, ambition, and camaraderie in the face of overwhelming odds. Scott's leadership is a central theme throughout the book. He presents himself as a determined, methodical leader, dedicated to the success of the expedition despite the numerous challenges. His sense of responsibility for the men under his command is evident, as he constantly grapples with decisions that impact their safety and well-being. Scott's attention to detail and thorough planning stand out, yet he also reflects on the unpredictability of the Antarctic, where even the best laid plans can be rendered ineffective by sudden storms, treacherous ice, or exhaustion. His leadership is tested repeatedly, and through his writing, we see the weight of command on his shoulders. The Antarctic itself becomes a powerful force within the narrative, depicted as both awe-inspiring and unforgiving. Scott's descriptions of the icy wastelands convey a sense of isolation and grandeur. He speaks of the immense glaciers, the biting cold, and the eeriness of the Antarctic silence, but also the beauty of the clear skies and vast stretches of snow. This duality of the landscape reflects the paradox of exploration, where the desire to push into unknown territories is tempered by the very real dangers they pose. Scott's prose captures the psychological and physical toll the Antarctic takes on the explorers, as well as the awe it inspires. The scientific goals of the expedition are another major focus of the book. Scott and his team were not merely explorers but also pioneers in scientific research, conducting studies in geology, biology, meteorology, and magnetism. The voyage of the discovery emphasizes the importance of these scientific endeavors, showcasing the expedition's contributions to our understanding of Antarctica. Scott portrays these achievements with pride, recognizing that the expedition's success lies not only in geographic exploration but in expanding the boundaries of human knowledge. The challenges of conducting science in such a hostile environment, where instruments froze, and conditions often made experiments nearly impossible, are underscored highlighting the perseverance of the team. Scott's portrayal of his men reflects a deep sense of camaraderie and respect. The expedition's members are described as brave, resourceful, and resilient. The narrative often shifts from grand descriptions of the journey to more intimate moments between the men, showing their humor, loyalty, and shared sense of purpose. Despite the extreme hardships they face, Scott emphasizes the bonds that develop among the crew, illustrating how their mutual support is crucial to their survival. The book conveys the emotional and psychological pressures of isolation, particularly during the long Antarctic winter, when darkness and cold tested their mental fortitude. The hardships of the expedition are conveyed with stark realism. Scott does not shy away from describing the physical suffering of frostbite, scurvy, and exhaustion. His writing evokes a visceral sense of what it meant to endure such conditions, from the pain of frozen limbs to the psychological strain of unrelenting cold. Yet, he also frames these struggles within a larger narrative of perseverance, suggesting that these hardships are an inherent part of exploration and that overcoming them is a mark of human resilience. In conclusion, The Voyage of the Discovery is both a personal memoir and a testament to human endurance in the face of extreme adversity. Through Scott's eyes, we experience the breathtaking beauty of the Antarctic, the trials of leadership, the importance of scientific discovery, and the strength of camaraderie. The book serves as a reminder of the human spirit's capacity to endure, to explore, and to seek knowledge even in the most inhospitable places on earth.